Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Off the coast of California, Ferndale, California, there was a magnitude 4.1 earthquake and 23 people reported feeling it. This earthquake USGS feels was on the northern side of the Mendocino Ridge. This goes down to the Mendocino Junction, which is part of the Gordo Plate. And I've talked about this uh, plate, how it's uh, being crushed. It's part of the Juan de Fuca Plate, and it's slowly twisting down here at the uh, Mendocino Triple Junction. There's been some aftershocks, more than likely caused by the subsidence of the Juan de Fuca Plate and the Pacific Plate moving underneath the North American Plate because it's so far out on the Mendocino fault line, the ridge here. Uh, more than likely, we're going to have another earthquake uh, a little bit farther down along the track. You can see the direction here that this fault line moves going towards the California coast. Um, the aftershocks was right here. I'm going to pull this over for you was a magnitude 1.3, 19.2 kilometers in depth. It's an area of subsidence. There's been a lot of earthquakes of late since that Alaskan earthquake. There was a magnitude 2.6 down by Fort Bragg, California. 100 people reported feeling that earthquake, and that occurred on the 28th. It looks like most of them along the coast there. We got 27, 62 two, six, and one. Most of them closer to Fort Bragg, which shows the tension, the energy was applied going south. There's the location of that earthquake. See this? Using Google Earth, there's the location of that earthquake near Seal Rock. And here's Fort Bragg, probably within this location right here. Yeah, 100 people reported feeling it. Did you feel it? This white line that I drew out, and it goes all the way up to the Mendocino Junction, Triple Junction, is the St. Andreas Fault. And we got uh, marked out here different earthquakes. Here we got the 1992 7.2 earthquake. Uh, there was also 1992 a 6.5 earthquake and a 5.2 also 1992 up in the state of washington there was a magnitude 2.4 that was felt now usgs will say that uh, most people don't feel these earthquakes unless they're a magnitude 3.5 but we're getting a lot of people who are reporting magnitude 2.4 2.5 that say they have been felt that was on the 24th, uh, 11 kilometers west of Altfield, Washington. Eight people. It was felt as far as Seattle, Washington. And that's a relatively small earthquake, what they would call uh, a microquake. And we got two right here, which is um, Oak Harbor. And then Oak Harbor also one from there. Today... Going east, there was a magnitude 2.0. No one reported feeling that earthquake. Also, Washington. It had a depth of 14.9 kilometers. Are you prepared for a large earthquake? Here we can see the different fault zones. Let me pull this in for you. Yeah, this is the most recent um, location. The earth is definitely rocking and a rolling, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. This is the uh, subduction zone. Uh, the Juan de Fuca fault line has been broken up into three different sections of naming. Yeah. Um, what can I say? You should be prepared. The way things are going this year, like I said, we'll probably have uh, another um, moderate to large earthquake along uh, the Mendocino Ridge. Yeah. And you're probably going to get some more down here. Yeah, I was surprised um, up there by Lakeport, California, they had an earthquake. Here you can see Akaya. And let's bring it in right there. That was a magnitude 2.6. Um, one person reported that they did feel it. Yep, 
And then look all the earthquakes they're having up on Cobb Mountain. Um, in the last week, there's been 267 earthquakes on this map. And you can see all the fault lines that they've drawn out. Be foolish not to be prepared for a large earthquake. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Did you feel any of these earthquakes that I mentioned? If so, please put it down below. Uh, did you have damage? Uh, what were the, were the effects? How long did it last? Etc. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.